A common question I get asked when it comes to these little RTL SDR dongles is can it pick up shortwave and HF? Short answer is, with the right antenna and the right settings on your software, yes it can. If I've already lost you or you're unfamiliar with what software defined radio or SDR is, I highly encourage you to check it out. It's a fun and inexpensive way to get into the radio hobby. A quick search on YouTube for software defined radio will give you a ton of great content out there, including a couple by yours truly. Hi, I'm Tom the Dilaton, and today I want to share with you how I tune into shortwave and HF using this little RTL SDR dongle, SDR Sharp on a Windows 10 laptop, and this nifty little loop antenna that I picked up from Amazon for about 50 bucks. While it's not as cheap as a wire tossed out in the backyard, which also works just as well, I thought it was pretty neat because it was different and compact, but more on that later. The SDR dongle that I'm using is the RTL SDR, which you can usually find online for about 40 bucks or less. Amazon used to have them in stock, but as of late their inventory has been kind of iffy. But check back with them time to time. Another place to find them is AliExpress, and they typically have them in stock more often than not. Regardless, you can go to the RTL SDR store online and make sure you get good links to either Amazon or AliExpress or even eBay sometimes, and make sure you're getting a legit version and not some knockoff. I'll leave links to all these resources below. The reason I like the RTL SDR is because it's cheap and can receive between 500 kilohertz and 1.7 gigahertz. It's also lightweight, super portable, and quite honestly, just a lot of fun to use. Installing it is simple and pretty straightforward, but if this is your first time, I highly recommend watching an install video by someone like the Smokin' Ape before you plug it into your computer. You're gonna need the right device drivers for this thing, or you're just gonna end up being frustrated. Once you've got the SDR dongle installed, you're gonna need an antenna, and that's where this thing comes into play. This is a Megaloop MLA30 Plus active loop antenna that I picked up from Amazon for about 50 bucks. It's a receive only antenna powered by 5 volt USB port. It's got a wide bandwidth of 100 kHz to 30 MHz, perfect for shortwave and HF listening. As a loop antenna, it's directional with the figure 8 receive pattern, and it allegedly is capable of minimizing near field interference, especially from Mad Main Electronics. It comes with a weatherproof enclosure, so you're supposed to be able to leave it outside, as well as a stainless steel wire for the loop part of the antenna. The loop is pretty flimsy, but I was able to string this whole thing up using a half inch piece of PVC pipe and a zip tie up at the top through a simple hole. Honestly, I like this setup because it's lightweight, has a super small footprint, and is really easy to install anywhere. I had put it up on a tailgating flagpole mast outside of my garage, but you can just as easily deploy this thing hanging outside of a balcony. The software that I'm using is SDR Sharp. It's free to download and works well on Windows machines. I believe it also works on Linux, but I don't think it works on Mac OS without some kind of Windows emulator. There are whole videos on how to work this software, but what I'm gonna focus on today is how to configure it for HF and shortwave. Making sure that your source is the RTL SDR, you have to go into the cog here for your various settings. First, you're gonna to wanna to again make sure that the device is for the generic RTL uh, 2832, the SDR dongle that we're using. And then under sampling mode, go to direct sampling Q branch. Lastly, I leave the RTL's automatic gain control checked and then hit close. Once those settings are done, you hit play and you should start to be able to receive HF and shortwave. Here are a few examples. We've got 40 meter single sideband. Well, we'll see what happens, you know, freeze these, it doesn't, you know, that is well as I do. 40 meter digital and 40 meter CW. 20 meters at the time I was listening was a little compromised, but here's an example of single sideband there as well. You got the atomic clock. Some random shortwave broadcast probably telling me I'm going to hell. And uh, you know what, you open up the refrigerator, the refrigerator. Another random shortwave broadcast, this one being foreign. I think I heard Nicaragua. A couple 80 meter single sideband examples. I like to, I really love to do that again, so that's, uh, that's gonna be my, my goal. No more auroras, so I think it's seven pounds for a couple of days. 80 meter digital. And just for some variety, a local AM broadcast. Today at 
So you can see, with this relatively simple setup, you can peruse quite a bit of the radio spectrum, which is why I find this thing so fascinating. That's it! That's how you can listen to shortwave and HF using an RTL SDR dongle, SDR Sharp, and a Windows laptop. And for those that have asked me in the past, no, you do not need to be connected to the internet, Wi-Fi, cellular service, or anything. This is completely off the grid. All you need is to be able to receive the radio signals, convert them into uh, audio format using the SDR software, and you're good to go. So if you're curious about the radio hobby, perhaps you're an aspiring ham or maybe even an established ham and just want to understand what is out there and get a good visual representation of the radio spectrum, SDR is the way to go. I hope you enjoyed this one or at least found it useful. If you did, consider giving it a like, maybe even subscribing. Till the next time, this is Tom the Dilaton. Thank you as always for watching. Keep on tinkering, keep on learning, and 73. Take care. Hi, I'm Tom the Dilaton. Today I'd like to share with you my experience getting onto shortwave and HF using an RTL SDR dongle, SDR Plus on my Windows laptop, and my wife calling me to interrupt my take. Hello?